Hello, I am Dr. Suresh Gowda, Consultant Neonatologist and Pediatrician working at Motherhood Hospital, HR Bihar. Today I am going to talk to you all about jaundice in newborn. Jaundice is a yellow discoloration of the skin or white of the eyes that is often seen in newborn infants. The discoloration is caused by a yellow substance called bilirubin. Infants with high blood levels of bilirubin called hyperbilirubinemia develop the yellow color when bilirubin accumulates in the skin. Infants with darker skin color can have high blood bilirubin levels and the jaundice may not be identified. Jaundice during the first 24 hours after birth or the presence of yellowing of palms and soles is a medical emergency. An urgent blood test must be considered in these situations. Jaundice is not a disease but is a symptom of an elevated blood bilirubin level. Jaundice is not painful, but in some infants, serious complications can occur if elevated bilirubin levels are not treated in a timely manner. Jaundice is a marker that identifies those infants who may be at risk for developing severe hyperbilirubinemia. Severe hyperbilirubinemia can be toxic to the nervous system of infants, potentially causing brain damage. What are the symptoms of jaundice? Jaundice essentially causes skin to become yellowed, later the eyes may have a yellowish tinge. These changes may be hard to recognize in children with dark skin color or if a baby is unable to open the eyelids. The color change is noticeable in the face first and this may progress down to the chest, the abdomen, arms and then finally to the legs. However, in some infants, the head to toe progression of jaundice can be masked and the jaundice may appear over the entire body like a tan. The jaundice can be checked by pressing one finger on your baby's forehead or nose. If the skin is jaundiced, it will appear yellow when you release pressure from the skin. It can be tracked in some babies by pressing over the bony prominence of the chest, the hips and knees to check if the jaundice is progressing. Baby should be checked before the baby leaves the hospital. If a baby goes home sooner than 72 hours after birth, you will need to monitor the skin color at home every day. In addition, your infant should see a doctor within one to two, three days after going home. The signs of worsening jaundice, you need to consult the doctor if you see any of the following, for example, if there's yellow coloring at the knee or lower, if the yellow color is more intense, lemon yellow, orange yellow or if the whites of the eyes appear yellow, if the baby has difficulty in feeding, if the baby is been difficult in waking up, if it's hard to wake up an infant, if your baby is irritable and is difficult to console, if the baby tends to arch his back or neck backwards. The causes of jaundice, this is caused by accumulation of bilirubin in the blood. Bilirubin is formed when red blood cells are broken down. Bilirubin, a yellow pigment, is naturally removed by the liver and then excreted in stool and urine. Bilirubin levels become elevated when bilirubin is produced faster than it can be removed. Jaundice is common in newborns since two to three times more bilirubin is produced during this period as compared to during adulthood. Benign newborn jaundice which affects nearly all newborns is caused by a mild to moderate elevation of bilirubin and is not usually harmful to infants. It develops between 72 and 96 hours after birth and usually goes away by one to two weeks after birth. In infants who are born 35 to 37 weeks of gestation and those who are severely jaundiced, the jaundice may require more time to resolve as normal elimination mechanisms mature. Newborns with higher levels of bilirubin in the blood have severe hyperbilirubinemia, a more serious condition than physiological jaundice. Infants may develop severe hyperbilirubinemia within the first 24 hours after birth. If this happens, you need to consult the doctor immediately. One reason that bilirubin levels are higher in infants is that more red blood cells are broken down. As a result, more bilirubin is produced. This can be related to bruising and mild injuries during delivery. If the mother's and infant's blood groups and types are incompatible, 
the mother's immune system may attack the infant's red blood cells and inherited causes of red blood cell breakdown such as G6PD which may occur more frequently I mean among African American Mediterranean and Asian races is there a test for jaundice yes there is a blood test to check for jaundice which is the serum bilirubin level and is there anything which the parents can do to help the jaundice get better yes to help your baby's jaundice get better you can make sure your baby drinks enough if you breastfeed your baby make sure you breastfeed often and in the right way if you feed baby's formula make sure your baby drinks enough formula if you're worried that the baby is not drinking enough then please see to the doctor you can always tell whether your baby is drinking enough if he or she has six or more wet diapers a day he or she has increased bowel movements change from dark green to yellow and they are happy after feeding some babies do not need any other treatment for their jaundice this is because their bilirubin levels are only a little high and the jaundice will get better on its own but other babies will need treatment babies who need treatment might have higher levels of bilirubin or they might have been born early the way we treat uh, jaundice is called the light therapy baby is put under special light or wraps a light blanket around him babies who get light therapy or usually naked or wear only a diaper so that the light can shine on their skin to watch uh, more videos of me please subscribe to dr sagan